Okay, so this video is showing this uh, patient that came in who decided it's just time to fix his teeth. And so I'm going to walk through the steps I would go through in trying to determine what is the best treatment plan or at least options that this patient can pick from. So let's kind of go through some basic information that we gathered uh, so you can kind of get an idea of what this case is about. So uh, you can tell his wisdom teeth are missing. He's also missing his lower left first molar. He has a history of multiple crowns, uh, fillings, uh, a root canal in this top right. Uh, we also have, let's see, some photographs. Here is, you know, just kind of the smile in general. You can kind of tell something just doesn't look quite right there. Things aren't really aligned the way they should be. So now let's get the teeth out of the way, and or sorry, the lips out of the way, get a look at the teeth. So when we um, see this angle, actually, let me just kind of go back. Okay, so there it is, the smile, lips out of the way, teeth together. You can kind of tell those lower front teeth are kind of overshadowed by those upper front teeth. Obviously he needs a teeth cleaning. I mean, he has a lot of stuff on here. So this is before he even got cleaned up uh, with it and his teeth cleaned. Uh, so you kind of get an idea. Try to look past that though and just kind of look at the structure of the teeth themselves. Dipped out areas right here in the lower canines. Uh, let's see, some chips and dings here and there. Back teeth on the right as the bite is being you know put together. Not a lot of, look how short that tooth is right there. Look, that's pretty short too. Here's the bite being slightly opened to kind of get an idea if we were to pick up some more, uh, if we were to try to open his bite some more, what kind of room would we have to work within? That kind of gives you an idea. Again, the bite on the left side, bite slightly opened, uh, just to kind of get an idea where the function is on those two arches. Upper teeth, scooped out areas of enamel here. Look at the silver filling is still there, but the enamel has worn away. So whenever we see a lot of these smooth areas that are dished away, especially if the restorative material like a silver filling is left behind, we know it's more than just grinding, that there must be some chemical erosion as well. And so in questioning him, yeah, there was a period of time where he was taking different medications that made him sick, so he was throwing up a lot, and that stomach acid was going up against the backs of these teeth, and it was slowly eroding these teeth as well. He also reported a history of seizures and that his teeth may have been traumatized during that, and just, of course, a lifetime of just chewing and teeth being weakened already from the acidic erosion. Let's see another picture. All right, well, let me go back to here. Uh, upper teeth. Let's see the lower teeth. I'm sorry, here are the lower teeth. Uh, again, there's that missing tooth on the lower left. Just a little bit of crowding, but that's a minor concern. And just, again, restoration is still in place. It still have its original height, but the surrounding enamel has started to decrease and erode away. So you can kind of tell what, uh, you know, what his situation is. And, um, you know, he's in kind of rough shape, but we have some treatment options that are available to him. Um, if we're to kind of take a look now and get the, the color or the, the natural tooth color out of the way, just kind of look at the topography of the teeth, you can kind of get a better sense of how much wear has occurred, especially look at this uniqueness of these front teeth. It looks like his lower front teeth have kind of created some grooves on those upper front ones. Um, so a lot of this has been contributing to the erosion and the wear of his teeth to kind of a general closing of his bite, like his bite is collapsed, like those teeth on the upper front and lower front, if there's too much overlap, they need to have some more, some more space between there. And so a plan was put together, and so the ideal plan really would be to get the teeth into the right spot orthodontically. However, given his home care and motivation to wear appliances such as Invisalign, it might be difficult with braces due to home care or Invisalign to actually get a good orthodontic result. So if we didn't do ortho, what could we do that would be a compromise but would still be better than what he has? And so this following plan was put together. Uh, of course, let's get everything cleaned up. And then the next thing after that would be to take these spots right here that um, are, have these grooves that are kind of worn, put some composite right inside those grooves, and then that will restore at least those front four teeth to the right thickness. Now he bites together, his lower front teeth are going to hit that first, and his back teeth won't be able to touch. So now the name of the game is to get those back teeth to touch, and there's a certain sequence that I lay out here in order to do that predictably and comfortably for him. Uh, and right here you can see the next step would be to do the canines, which are the pointy teeth, to put crowns on those teeth so when he bites and slides to the left and to the right, 
that it will uh, reestablish that protective function that canines are designed to do. And then after that, we'll do a series of crowns on some back teeth, and you can kind of see here in detail uh, the sequence that, that we would do. We do some upper teeth, and then we do some lower teeth, so when it's all said and done, it all fits the way that it should. And then afterwards, get a night guard to protect them from grinding. And then if he wants to replace that missing tooth on the bottom left, then uh, that can be available to him as well. So a very interesting uh, situation with him clinically. Uh, we're going to uh, kind of put this out to him and kind of see what he would like to do. There is no little patch up uh, thing with this. However, you can't just put a crown here, or put a filling there. That's not gonna solve the problem. This case really needs to be treated comprehensively. So again, orthodontics with restorative would be ideal, but if we can't do ortho, then there are some other extensive restorative options that we could follow as well. So look forward to your comments below and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.